As a company, we are also a winner in the globalized world. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that by now we see more than 40% uh, of our sales in the threshold com uh, countries. 41% uh, comes from the growth regions, and versus 2008, we've taken another leap of four percentage points. So we've taken a huge leap in this direction. Our objective is that in uh, 2012, we want to have about 45% of total sales within the Henkel Group being generated in these um, uh, emerging countries. What about uh, personnel, HR? We've got 53% of our employees in the emerging countries. And that, uh, please understand me correctly, it's not just production, it's development, it's management. And therefore, it's a particular delight uh, to have a new member uh, on the board. Mr. Auris, who was uh, for six years in the um, emerging countries. He was in China. Uh, in terms of uh, profit and development, these uh, countries are extremely important to Henkel. Then supply chain, we also made progress uh, to reduce complexity. We uh, streamlined our supply portfolio between 8 and 10, and we're trying to achieve another reduction of 29%. So we've got fewer suppliers, but they work more closely with us. We've got excellent uh, cooperation with companies like EASF, who are also here as the new owners of Cognis. Uh, so this strategic relationship with suppliers, uh, these uh, have been strengthened at the same time. Now, as far as the reduction of uh, products, formulations, packages is concerned, we've made progress as well, but we're not there, we're not where we want to be, and that's why I showed this in yellow. I think we can do more here in order to reduce complexity and as a result of that to also reduce costs. And uh, in the supply chain area, we're expecting savings potentials in the order of magnitude of 100 million per annum. We um, also expanded our shared services structure. By now, we've got three shared services centers in the world, Bratislava, uh, relatively not that far away from Düsseldorf, and Bratislava covers Western Europe, Eastern Europe, and Middle East. Then we've got Manila and the Philippines, which covers North America and Asia Pacific. And we've got Interlomas in Mexico, which covers Latin America. So you see, as of uh, today, we've got more than 700 employees and until the end of the year, we want to have more than 1,000 employees in these shared service centers, and they supply services in finance, uh, procurement, and uh, HR. Then we've also adjusted our structures, uh, our restructuring program, Global Excellence, uh, when it was announced in 2008. Uh, has been completed as reported one year more quickly than originally planned. National starch integration has been completed one year more quickly than originally planned. Our IT service landscape has been reduced, about 1,500 suppliers. We had four, and now we've got four, so that's a clear reduction in this area. Our production network has been further optimized, and uh, our shared services have been expanded. This means, uh, like in school, we're doing our homework, but every day there's something new being added, but we're going the right way, but in this area we'll never come to an end. 2010 for Henkel was um, a team performance, and therefore I'd like to thank all our employees because the year was excellent because of our excellent staff. We are a global uh, company with more than 110 nationalities. We've got 29% of women in management uh, uh, positions. We've got a share of 29%, and this share is growing per year by between 1 and 1.5%. And that was also the case in the last five years. We quite deliberately try to push this ahead. But at the end of the day, qualification counts. And we've got a long-term successorship planning, and I can uh, already show you that here. I already mentioned Mr. Auris, who's been with Henkel for a long time, and Mr. Piacenza who has been with Henkel for a long time. They look young, but they've been with Henkel for a long time. And it's uh, good that um, we can uh, find our successors uh, within the company. We've got uh, such good candidates that our uh, leadership positions can be filled from within. 
diversity within the group is a great success factor for Henkel. Now, summary, uh, EBIT margin is at a record level. In spite of a difficult market, we've got a um, very good and sustainable development uh, in the divisions, and uh, we've made progress in uh, implementing the various programs. This chart has been shown for three years now, and you'll see it in the next two years as well. We are optimistic that we will reach our targets in 2012 and uh, uh, 2010 was an important step in that direction. I pass the floor on to Mr. Steinerbach now.